Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 25th to the 31st of October. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Virgo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Virgo, your challenge is the Ace of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, very simple reading for you uh, this week that, you know, is coming up. And I'm saying to myself, thank you, Virgo, for making it simple for me. Um, your challenge here is the Ace of Cups. So it looks like uh, your biggest challenge here is, you know, having a new beginning with someone. Um, it could be new love for some of you. Uh, for others of you, it's just you know, wanting to have a new beginning here. We're gonna find out more about what the Ace of Cups means for you in a moment when we clarify. Now, Virgo, in the recent past, you have the Chariot, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Swords. I feel like someone here disconnected from you in the recent past because of some sort of situation that created a lot of pain. There could have been a third party situation here. Um, I feel like this situation needed to happen though, okay? As much as you didn't want it to happen in the recent past, it needed to happen because it's part of everything that's taking place right now and in the near future. So we're gonna clarify and see in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the justice. I feel like in the present moment, a lot of you want something here to be worked out with someone here from the past. You still have very strong memories associated with this person. Um, there's a desire to bring something here back into balance, especially because this situation has caused a lot of anxiety for you. We're going to get more information when we clarify. Now, in the near future, you have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Wands. I see a very happy reconciliation that's coming in for many of you in the near future, and I see that it's going to lead to a lot of um, fulfillment and completion, and I'm seeing it become or be very successful for you, okay? Very positive combination, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Very positive. So we're going to find out more when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Sun all in reverse. So I'm really strongly getting that there was um, a very strong disappointment surrounding the fact that a relationship stopped working here. I feel like there was an opportunity missed maybe to um, have this connection with this person. A lot of you started to get into this place of feeling like you weren't appreciated and valued in this um, relationship. And that is why you either have disconnected or you're thinking about disconnecting. Okay. So what you don't see coming is the fact that there are relationship issues that still need to be resolved between you and this person. Okay. So let's get into your reading Virgo and let's see what's going on. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is your challenge, which is the Ace of Cups. Okay. So the Ace of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Devil. So the biggest challenge here right now is the fact that a lot of you are dealing with someone here who's toxic. It's a very toxic person that you're dealing with. This is somebody that you really love. You love being with them. They make you feel secure. They make you feel happy. But lately, this person has been very toxic. I'm getting a very toxic vibe from this um, person or situation. So your biggest challenge here is the fact that you still love this person person you still want to be with them but the question is you know do you settle for maybe someone new or do you still remain holding on to this uh, person okay that's your challenge that's what I'm seeing now let's clarify the recent past let's clarify the three of swords
So the Three of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Chariot. Someone here decided to disconnect from this relationship in the recent past because they felt like they needed to work on themselves, self-love here. Um, tell me more about the Chariot in the recent past for Virgo. So the chariot is clarified by the tower, the five of pentacles and the temperance. So yeah, someone here decided to completely abandon this um, relationship connection in the recent past. It did take them time to do this. I feel like this was you Virgo. I feel like you disconnected from the situation could have been your person though. Um, someone here started to dis or someone here decided to leave in the recent past because something in the connection was breaking down. Okay. Things stopped working between you and this person. Um, I'm also getting a small, energy of narcissism here. So someone here may have felt in the past that um, the other person was all about themselves. They didn't really care about the situation and this is why things happened the way they did. Someone here disconnected, okay? Now, in the present moment, it looks like a lot of you are still connected to someone here from the past. We're gonna find out more about this person when we clarify the Six of Cups, but first I wanna clarify the Nine of Swords. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords in the present moment for Virgo. So the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So a lot of you are still trying to heal in the present moment from someone here who started to become extremely toxic. Okay, I'm getting um, this person was really on and off with you. This person was someone who would show up when they would want to show up. There was a lack of consistency. But there's something charming about this person that draws you in. It's like... This person's nice, they look good, or they say nice things to you, or maybe the sexual energy between you and this person are, you know, is something that makes you feel good. And now that you're not with this person or you are disconnected and you're healing, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of fear and anxiety about the present moment and where your life is going moving forward. Okay. So let's clarify the six of cups. Tell me more about the six of cups. So the Six of Cups is clarified by the Four of Wands. We have the High Priestess and the Justice. So you have the Justice twice in the present moment. So something here still needs to be set right. I feel like a lot of you in the present moment, you're, you're, um, you have a very strong spiritual connection okay, to this person. And even though you're not talking to them right now, um, you both have a desire here to set this right. You both have a desire here to work something out. Tell me more about the justice in the present moment for Virgo. Yeah, okay, so the justice is clarified by the Two of Cups, the Magician, and the Two of Pentacles. So in the present moment, you have a decision to make here, Virgo, about whether or not you want to work things out with this person. Because I feel like if you believe, okay, the Magician is all about believing in our own power and our own ability to create our own reality, and it is showing up here. So I feel like if you believe 100% that there is a possibility for you and this person to work things out. You have to decide that. You have to believe that within yourself that you can have love and that you can attract the love that you want in your life. For others of you, this is about you reattracting the person that you are very much connected to. But I feel like a lot of you want this person to come back to you changed as a different person. You don't want to be dealing with maybe the past, um, you know, negative characteristics of this person. And that's why a lot of you pulled away, okay, in the first place. So there's a strong desire in the present moment for a lot of you to fix this connection um, because you don't know really how to live without this person. It's like this person is, 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 you're really strongly connected to them spiritually, okay? So this is what I'm seeing in the present moment, a desire for both you and this person to set things right um, so you can have this relationship. In the near future, I see you reconciling with this person. We're gonna find out more about this reconciliation and what it means for you with the Three of Cups. But first, I wanna clarify the Ten of Cups in the near future for you.
So the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups. You have the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like in the near future, there is going to be a love offer that comes in for you that's going to bring you a lot of stability. Um, if this is somebody that you're reconciling with from the past, which I feel like a lot of you are going to be um, doing that, especially in November. Uh, you know, this is the end of October reading for you, but November is going to be, I'm seeing it's a very positive month for you where there's a reconciliation that can possibly lead to a lot of success. Tell me more about the three of cups in the near future for Virgo in love. So the Three of Cups is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So I'm really strongly getting here with the Three of Cups that for many of you, um, there's something here about you finally being released, okay? You're finally being released um, from the mental anguish that you've experienced from being disconnected from this person because... As you continue to hold on to this person, I don't see you letting them go. It's like you're moving slowly towards them, okay? I see you moving towards them or them moving towards you. Um, actually, you both are moving towards one another because we have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. You see how these two are slowly moving towards one another? So I see you slowly moving towards this person, Um which is going to lead to a positive reconciliation. Tell me more about the Six of Wands for Virgo in the near future. So the Six of Wands is clarified by the Four of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So in the near future, there is a very strong possibility for success. However, if somebody here doesn't take action when the opportunity arises, and this could be you, Virgo, if you're not prepared to receive love or um, if you're not ready to take action, this may be what hinders this success from happening moving forward, okay? So the decision is going to be up to you if this is something that you want, okay? Um, recognizing and, and, and seeing who you are and what your power is, is going to be really important if you want this to happen. So let's get some advice for you. The advice here for you, Virgo, is the moon in reverse, the page of swords and the temperance. Before you decide to jump into anything, whether it's a new person, um, a past person, whatever it is that you're deciding to do in your life, there's something here about you uncovering the truth, okay? Get to the bottom of the truth. Um, be honest with yourself. Look for, you know, news and information before you move forward. I think a lot of you in the near future know not to rush into something because of what you've experienced in the past. So the advice here is, is to follow that, to follow, you know, doing the research, getting information before you jump into anything. It doesn't matter what it is. The divine is asking you to do your research because there may be things that you find out, moon in reverse, that is going to determine your decision moving forward, okay? So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.